if i take a range like this and attach a 95% confidence interval on this then what is your understanding of confidence interval is your understanding like there is a probability of 95% that my observation will fall in this range if that is your understanding that's wrong Welcome to Unfold Data Science. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist. In this video, I am going to simplify confidence intervals for you. Let's see that. So guys, in this video, we are going to clarify our concept on confidence interval and we are going to calculate confidence interval by hand. So these are the topics we are going to learn. What stats we are going to talk about? Okay, some, some introduction, then clarifying CI understanding, then calculating CI by hand and then calculating CI in Python. Okay. So let's try to understand in statistics, right? There are two main types of statistics. One is known as, as some of you know already, frequent, frequent test statistics. Okay. And other kind of statistics that you, you know, may be hearing is Bayesian statistics. Okay. What is the difference between these two? So I'm sure you have come across multiple terminology related to these two. But let me write here few terminologies that then, you know, it, it will be very clear to you how they are different. So first of all, every time you hear the word P value, right? And every time you hear the word hypothesis, right? All these come under the category of frequentist statistics. Okay. Because here the previous knowledge is not taken into consideration. So what happens here? There is no concept of random variable, previous knowledge, calculating probability of one based on other. Those concepts will not come here. Okay. In Bayesian, you will be hearing very much probability centered observations. So I'm sure you know about Bayes theorem, very much probability centered observations and very much, you know, random variables and interdependency of events, random variables and interdependencies of events. Now, the topic which we are talking today, that is confidence interval, right? That falls under the category of frequentist statistics. Mostly in frequentist statistics, what will happen is you will always see at, at the moment I talk about hypothesis, right? It is very clear that it will be around sample and population. Okay. So I'm sure now you are able to relate sample and population. So Every time you talk of, you know, taking a sample, making some assumption, making some hypothesis, validating it or concluding some, you know, a conclusion from the sample about the population, all that is about frequentist uh, statistics. Now, how this relates to confidence interval? Obviously, confidence interval is one, one area, one part of frequentist statistics. How confidence interval, uh, you know, relates to all these things. Suppose I go, and I calculate height of all the people in the India. Uh, I, I measure, okay? But it's not possible to measure, so I will measure for a sample only. Suppose my sample size, suppose my sample size is, let's say, for example, 40, okay? And suppose mean height, I measured a height of how many people? 40 people. What is the mean height I'm getting? I'm getting 175. And what is the standard deviation of my sample? This is the sample, okay? So what is the standard deviation of the sample? Standard deviation of the sample, of sample, that I'm going to write here is equal to 20, okay? Now, this, these are the things about my sample. Using this sample, suppose I ask you, tell me what is the height of an average Indian? Or suppose if I take an Indian, then what is the height that I can expect? So here I'm talking about, from the sample, concluding something about the population. And that is where confidence interval comes into picture. Now, you have two numbers here, 175 and 20. Suppose, suppose I compute confidence interval, something like this. So I will tell you in a moment how to compute confidence interval. But for now, just think that my confidence interval is, my confidence interval is 175, which is the mean plus minus 6.2. Okay, I will tell you how to compute this in a moment, but imagine this is my confidence interval. Okay, and this confidence interval is, let's say, uh, I have computed it previously. It will be 168.8 to 181.2. 
okay so this is the range my confidence interval falls into and confidence interval will always come with a confidence score uh, i mean confidence percentage so here i will say this is my this is my 95% confidence interval now here is where many people are confused the meaning of this range what many people think is if i take an height from the population there is a 95% probability that height will fall in this range that understanding is wrong what is the right understanding so here we did one experiment how many experiment we did one experiment suppose some other person comes he takes another sample and he repeats the same experiment again and he gives one more 95% confidence interval try to understand this guys suppose one more person comes does takes a sample gives me one more 95% confidence interval okay so this is my first 95% confidence interval okay first 95% confidence interval is equal to just for simplicity i'm saying xy second 95% confidence interval when somebody else does right will be in the range of let's say ab third 95% confidence interval when a third person comes does the sampling gives me another confidence interval all 95% okay then pq so what is the meaning of 95% confidence interval is if i take a height from the population right then 95% of the times right 95% of the times it will fall in these confidence interval or in other way you can say 95% of these confidence intervals will have that height there is a difference guys try to understand i did a experiment here somebody else comes does the same experiment and gives another 95% confidence interval somebody else comes does this experiment gives another 95% confidence interval okay so how 95% confidence interval work is if i take a height from the population then out of the, all these confidence interval okay 95% of confidence intervals will have that height i will show you the wikipedia page of how this what is the meaning of this in a moment but remember this 95% of this is the crux of this video guys okay after this i will go to calculation 95% of all please remember this for interviews they will try to confuse you 95% of all 95% confidence intervals okay will include will include true mean okay so true mean means i'm saying um, every time i say that i'm taking one random person out i'm just talking about the true mean okay so that is the true mean so 95% of all confidence interval will include the true mean now if you go to the wikipedia page of confidence interval they have given a very good image i was just checking yesterday okay so as you can see here there are 20 confidence intervals taken okay number 1 number 2 up to 20 20 confidence interval taken and this mu is the true mean okay this mu is the true mean now these are 50% confidence intervals so see here 20 samples of normally distributed data are in rows directly above each sample is the 50% confidence interval for the mean okay with the sample mean marked with the diamond intervals that include the mean are blue and rest are red so here everything is 50 percent confidence interval which means out of this 20 10 will have the true mean and 10 will not have the true mean so as you can see red ones is not having the true means and blue ones is having the true means okay so hope now you are clear with the concept of confidence interval don't confuse in this let's go ahead and compute this with hand okay so uh, i was talking about sample size n let me change this I was talking about sample size N40. I was talking about mu of 175. I was talking about sigma of 20. So Z, Z score for normal distribution for 95% confidence interval will be 1.960. And the formula for confidence interval is CI will come in the range of mu plus minus uh, directly. Let's put the values, okay? 
so that it will be very clear to you. 175 plus minus 1.960 multiplied by 20 divided by square of 40. So if you can see, this is your sample size. This is your how many observation you have. This is your Z score and this is your mean. Okay. So if you compute this right, then you will get 175 plus minus 6.20, which is 168.8 to 181.2. So this is your 195% confidence interval. Okay. Now, same thing in Python we can do. Let's go ahead and do that in Python. I have written a simple code here. Uh, so if you can see here, I have taken import numpy, import scipy. I have taken same sample size 40, average height of 175 and height variation. That is nothing but standard deviation 20. I am generating random heights of people using using that um, you know mean and standard deviation. I am generating like that. So I'm taking 40 heights like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to compute the sample mean and sample standard deviation just for viewing and degrees of freedom. I'm taking 40, you know, one I'm reducing so that unbiased estimation, right? And then this T critical is something that we put there, there directly the values of Z score, if you remember. Okay, 1.960. So here I'm computing through the package. I'm saying 1. Point, uh, you know, 95% confidence interval give me my degrees of freedom will be in this case, it should be 39, not 40, 49. Okay. So this will give me my T critical. T critical is nothing but 1.96 that I put there, the G score. And this formula is same that, that I wrote in the note here. So if you can see here, mean plus minus Z score multiplied by uh, standard deviation by sample size. Same thing here, square root of sample size. This multiplied by standard deviation divided by this okay so this is margin of error now i will take this value and i will once i will uh, subtract and once i will add in the sample mean when i do do, uh, do all these things you can see sample mean and sample standard deviation is slightly different from what we asked because you know when when random numbers are generated it will be slightly different but every time i'll run it will be slightly different okay so as you can see it is coming close to, I asked for 175 and 20, but it is giving me 179 and 19. But range is nearly same that we computed, 173, 186. And here also range you can see in the in the same range, basically. It will depend on, you know, what the, what the random numbers Python is generating, okay? So the formula is basically same to compute the confidence interval. Remember guys, they will try to confuse you in interview. So don't confuse. Just remember this one formula. If I'm saying 50% confidence interval means out of all the confidence intervals, which says 50%, 50% will contain the true value, 50% will not. Same with other confidence intervals, okay? So I hope you like this video, guys. Please don't forget to subscribe to Unfold Data Science and give me a thumbs up. See you all in the next video, wherever you are, stay safe and take care.